Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks, and somebody just posted a, a question on Facebook. He needed some circles put evenly spaced around another circle. And I have a video that's kind of like this on how to do it with a clock, but I thought, I'm just going to do it. So draw your circle, whatever size, hit P on your keyboard and put it at the center of the page. Take your other circle, and you know you have to change the dimension, but hit P on your keyboard. And then select both these and hit T, the letter T, on your keyboard. Then you kind of zoom in here, grab your smaller circle, holding down your control button so it won't go left or right, and you can see that it's in the quadrant. It's in the center right there. It tells you that. Now back out, click on it again, but this time double click. And then take your rotation skew to the center of the page. And then just to check it, you can always use indexing lines and hit P on your keyboard. Grab indexing lines and hit P on your keyboard. And double check your rotation and you can see. Now by his picture on Facebook, he wanted 18 circles. Well, if you take 18 divided by 360, is 20 degrees. So go Control D and make a duplicate of that and rotate it 20 degrees. Hit Control D again. And there you have 18 circles evenly spaced around that outer circle. I hope that helped. The, and one, just one thing, if, if the second time you hit duplicate and it doesn't move, and a lot of times it does that, you're going to have to move it to 40 degrees and then hit duplicate again. It just happened that time. So if you ever move it one time, so let's just back up here. So you've got your duplicate, and you're going to rotate it 20 degrees. Hit duplicate again, and it's working. But if it doesn't work that second time, just move it to 40 degrees. Anyway, I hope that helped a little bit, and thank you for watching.